Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but it's Just okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The Russian is 31. The Brit is 36. He weighed in at 206 pounds. He will have an 8-inch reach advantage. And with the official Ladies introductions, and here is the veteran is voice of the Octagon, the Bruce Buck. of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Boom, boom! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Meda. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this make a So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Close to the body there. Blocks that kick to the body. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. 
All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Plus right hand is true. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big power punch lands. Now we get back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Three minutes in our opening round. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, missed on that one. How good is that right hand? Just misses with a left hook there. Let me see that hook now. Slips the punch nicely there. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, a huge block there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. And there comes the separation now. Just misses with the left hook. Can't take many of those, you better check. It's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have now landed for Habib Nurmagomedov. Straight punch land. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness, moved the head back inside, turned that double into a single, sprawled, and got away from his opponent. Great job. Oh, single collar tie here. Slashing elbow from the clinch. Blocks that strike. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie, and they separate. Twenty seconds to go in round one. And he caught the kick. With the uppercut. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round and thank the heavens that elbows are legal in modern day mixed martial arts. Man. I mean, he is landing these at a devastating clip. He is landing these at will. His opponent needs to get back to space or he's gonna be going to sleep very soon. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward at this fight. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. 
underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, big knee. Both guys landing with conviction now. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into the strike to the head. Mago Medov going for the takedown here, but he misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, blocks the shot. Because this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same call. And potentially a critical takedown here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Good fight here under two to go. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmago Medov. I mean, how many can he take? Ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. seconds to go in round two. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, 
tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot on the gas, and really start to drive the hole as we approach the end of the fight. It was still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this one. Defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right. because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. And he landed the right hand there. That one is blocked, though, by Nervago Meta. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. What a punch. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Let's get that takedown and win right, right hook to the head block. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Snap the head back. The referee has seen enough. First by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching. 
imagine this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle Mbappé. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.